Almost no team in the NHL has a more loyal fan base than the Buffalo Sabres. The Buffalo Sabres have been out of the playoffs for well over a decade now, but that hasn't stopped fans from still caring about this team so much, and hopefully it's going to pay off for them soon. The perk with being at the bottom of the standings for over a decade now has one perk, you get to draft really good players. Originally, it seemed like the stars in Buffalo were going to be Lena Solmark, Sam Reinhardt, and Jack Eichel, but that kind of changed. All three of those players either left in free agency or were traded away, and the Buffalo Sabres are better off for it. No longer do they seem like a team with no direction, but they seem like they actually know what they're doing. Sure, the results haven't been there quite yet, but they are getting better every year and their young talent keeps growing. A few of the trades that the team has made has even heavily shaped the team that it is now. At the time, this deal was heavily criticized and it was one of the main things people looked at when they looked at Jason Botterill's tenure with the Sabres. As time has progressed, Tage Thompson has went from looking like an AHLer to being a bona fide star in the NHL. With the rate he's currently producing, he could crack 50 goals and 100 points next year and it wouldn't even be a surprise. A lot of the deals that Jason Botterill made looked really bad in the moment, but now as time's gone on, we've seen that there actually was a little bit of a plan to it. It just took a little bit. Every player is different, and sometimes it just takes them a little bit more time before they're ready to play in the NHL. And with all their high draft picks, the Sabres have some people that look like they can really break out into full NHL stars soon. The Sabres have the likes of J.J. Paterka, Jack Quinn, Rasmus Dahlin, Owen Power, Zach Benson, Peyton Krebs, and then they have some guys who have already established themselves in the NHL like Alex Tuck. The biggest player for this upcoming season, though, that I see is Devin Levi. The past couple years, the Buffalo Sabres have had a goalie carousel of people like Craig Anderson, Eric Comrie, Nuka Pekalukkanen, as well as many others when injuries have decimated their goalie lineup. But through the games that Devin Levi played last year and what he's done in past leagues, we've seen that he's ready to play in the NHL. Levi was acquired in the Sam Reinhardt deal with the Florida Panthers, and he seems like he's going to be the thing that carries the Buffalo Sabres to the playoffs. As long as the Sabres play a little bit of defense in front of him, I really do see him carrying the team a lot. One of the main issues with the Buffalo Sabres is that they have not had a good starting goalie in over a decade since Ryan Miller left. Hopefully now with Devin Levi though, it seems like they've finally found their answer, it just took a long time. Another player that I could see taking a big step next year is Owen Power. Drafted first overall just a couple years ago, Owen Power has really come into his own in the NHL. Each year that he's with the big club, we see him progressing more and more, and I think it's just a matter of time before he breaks out into a full superstar. Having both Owen Power and Rasmus Dahlin in your top four in defense is a very good recipe for success. I think this team next year is going to be one of the most exciting and electric to watch. If you look up and down their lineup, there's a lot of young talent that play very electrically. On any given night, it can be a very high scoring affair for the Sabres, and I think that's going to make them one of the most interesting teams to watch next season. Personally, I still think that there will be a lot of growing pains for the team, but that's bound to happen every season. I honestly feel like this is the best chance that the Buffalo Sabres have had at the playoffs in a long time. The main issue for the Sabres is that the Eastern Conference has a lot of good teams in it, especially the Atlantic Division. Just in their own Atlantic Division, they have to go through the likes of Boston, Toronto, Tampa, Florida, and then potentially battle for a wild card spot with Detroit. Personally, the only way I can see them cracking into that top three or four is if Boston would have a big drop off season after losing a ton of people this off season. Personally, I think that's highly unlikely though, and we'll see them competing for a wild card spot this year. But the issue with competing for a wild card spot is that you also have to deal with teams from the Metro. The Metro has a bunch of teams competing for a playoff spot. The top three are going to be locked up probably by the New York Rangers, Carolina Hurricanes, and New Jersey Devils. But after that, there's still a couple more teams that will fight for playoff spots. New York Islanders could potentially be in the mix, so it can the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Washington Capitals. Above all else, I think that this is going to be the biggest challenge for the Buffalo Sabres to make the playoffs. It's just the other teams that they have to compete against for the spot. Personally, I think this year that they could make the playoffs and have a really good chance to. It's just whether or not they can find the luck and squeak in above the other teams. Let me know what you think about their chances in the comments below. But anyways, let's talk about some more players in specific that the Sabres have. Since coming over in the Jack Eichel trade, Alex Tuck has been absolutely electric for the Sabres. He's wanted to play for the Sabres his whole life as he grew up in New York, and you can tell at every game that he plays. The dude is electric on and off the ice and scores big goals for the team. The two years that he's played on the team, we've seen him take massive improvements each season, and I think as more players around him develop, I think that's going to be even more so. The dude has a bunch of pure skill, and I also think that he could be the next captain once Kyle Acaposa is gone. Rasmus Dahlin put up an amazing season last year, and I think if he does the same, the Sabres have a really good shot at making it into the playoffs. Like I said earlier, when you have two number one first overall draft picks with Owen Power and Rasmus Dahlin in your top four overall, you can't go wrong. Their blue line looks a lot better than it has in years past, and I think that it's going to be a big help for them. When you combine all that with the fact that they're getting an upgraded net with Devin Levi, I really do think that this team can make some noise. At the end of the day though, we're just going to have to wait for that first puck drop in October. But I want to know what you think, so let me know what you think about the Sabres in the comments below, and while you're down there, make sure you like and subscribe. 
I just recently hit 200 subscribers and it means so much to me. Thank you guys for all the support recently. I'm going to keep producing more and better content every day, so make sure you subscribe and stick around because there's going to be something that you're bound to like. Thank you so much for watching.